to realize that it's black people are like white people are not being hunt, haunted hunted after y'all can come here and live a great freaking life alabama is a safe haven these phc what? fraternities and sororities are a safe haven you, for you think white you're people. being hunted hey guys welcome back to my channel guys i'm checking out Charles this confront college student idea for race-based dumps guys let's get straight into this what are some examples of critical race theory because i know like the another question that another girl came she said that she had to learn crt in her sorority and what i what i thought it was is that you know you should um know how to interact with people of other races because i went to a school where it's you know mostly caucasian people and i had to learn how to interact with other people so is it something like that or is it something deeper that we don't really know no uh, it's it's super simple so let me just kind of ask you i bet we agree do you do you support black only dormitories well when i think of black only dormitories i believe that you're talking about like maybe hbcus because it's nope. mostly black people no 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 no. where no. are these western washington university public school in washington has black okay. only dormitories. Is that something you would support? I mean, I would probably live in one, but I mean, that I'm- Wait, so I mean, you don't want to live with white people? I didn't say, I, I mean, I have, I, I didn't say that, but um, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of hard. Sometimes like I have most, I mean, you know, I have a lot of white friends or whatever, but I, I sometimes, I mean, it's hard to fit in here. Well, um, when you go here and you're a different color, I mean, it's not hard well, to- what, Would you support white only dormitories? It's, it's some some around here not many black people go here so it technically is white only if you think about it no it's not <laughs> no I mean, well, let me let me ask you another question i, didn't, I don't think anybody here would oh well, some people might you know support that i mean i never said i supported any only kind of thing I no i'm, I'm asked that's why i'm asking right i think that you know do you support ra white only dormitories? absolutely not i think it would be I, racist it's and preposterous disgusting. i believe that and I guess will. what black only dormitories are racist too uh, i mean i day i guess so i I live in one if I could, but I can't, so. <laughs> okay, well, let me ask you another question. Uh, at Columbia University, they have black-only graduation ceremonies. Would you support that? Whoa. I mean, if it's, is it just like, so are they not able to graduate with the white people? Is that why they can't? Well, they have a separate ceremony just for black people. I mean, I guess it's kind of like the separate ceremony, ceremony when they don't want to go to graduation. They want to do it online. That's how I so, think of it. So do you think segregation is evil and wrong? I mean, yes. black people weren't even able to join sororities here until 2012, so not the PhD one. So, you know, I, segregation here. I George just, Wallace I just in front know of the that's doors. not true, and like, th there's okay, when was when were um, PhD sororities and fraternities desegregated? 2013. Oh, so you're not trying 2012. to tell me that black people were not able to join a fraternity? Yes. Because do you of the remember color of their George? Skin. Do you remember George Wallace too? Segregation yeah. now, segregation, you know, for all, yeah, forever. That's what, that you're, as well. that's what you're espousing when you say that black-only graduation ceremonies or dormitories. Black-only graduation uh, ceremonies are the least of our problems, least of yours. Do you think that you'll be able to go to an HBCU and have this same turnout and have these same people? I'm not. I'm, let me well, tell you. Well, I would hope so, but I mean. So what would you say to them? But, but here's the say? thing. So, I'm sorry, what? What would you say to a... Uh, room full of black people about you know what i would say theory. i'd say your skin color means nothing i completely agree i i have been going here for three years i'm a junior i have mo oh is it my i'm sorry no you're fine um, i have most definitely faced racism and prejudice no matter what i believe in and it's it's just really hard to sit up here and listen to people come up here and say oh i don't want to learn crt it's just making you able to interact with other types of people i have well, no problem no it's not so let me just tell you so at the georgia public schools in atlanta they put black sixth graders in one classroom and white sixth graders in another classroom is that evil i've never seen can you show me a video of those happy of those to kids? atlanta segregation of public schools well, it was national show me. i have I, not to interrupt but i have i have family members that go to to schools in these areas and i also have people who live in yeah. redlining districts right, but where I'm they asking, can't do go you, to good schools do you support segregation no, no i do not okay we agree therefore okay. black only dormitories and black only graduation ceremonies and putting sixth graders in one classroom based on skin color or the other those are out those are outgrowths of crt so learning so okay so tell me give me an example of what critical race theory is i don't so, that was my first I'll, I'll be happy to tell you so critical race theory is an emphasis at saying skin color matters that the color of someone's skin is important in judging the value of the human being i get that but 
If I were, to, if you were teaching a class that is like that was that was talking about critical race theory, we were all sitting here. Yes. What would your what would your lecture be? Like, well, tell me what are you, what are your points? Like, who is this author that you're so reading? So Herbert from Marcuse and okay. an author by the last name of Spinoza wrote a book called One Dimensional Man in the okay. 1960s. Herbert Marcuse came from the uh, Frankfurt School in the 1930s, and he started this at Columbia University. Coming out of a Marxist belief of power dynamics, right. he believed that that power struggles were not just the rich versus the poor, but also black versus white. And he wanted to expand the kind of conversation to also engage racial dynamics. Inherent in critical race theory is a belief that people are not individuals, they're members of tribes. Inherent in the idea of critical race theory is that there is no free speech or reason or scientific inquiry. These are white supremacist Eurocentric constructs that have been put into the Western world. And, and the one that is the one that I think that is um, most prevalent, CRT believes racism is everywhere, that racism is the norm, that racism is within our systems, it's in our language, it's in our customs, it's in our codes, it's in all these sorts of things. Now, that's a super quick version of what CRT is, so happy to dive into that more, but I think it's, we don't have to overcomplicate it, which is, do you think people should be judged based on the color of their skin? It's not no. that I think that, but it's that it's happening. And you cannot ignore that I might not be treated the same as right. him as so he walks through You're right, door. it is happening. Like at Coca-Cola, they say they need to train their employees to abolish whiteness. At AT&T, they said they would need to train their employees to get rid of whiteness. We have a supply and demand issue with racism in our country. We have an incredibly low supply of racism and incredible yeah. demand to try to fulfill it. So we've created racism where it doesn't exist and try to turn everyone into mini racists against each other, which has now manifested itself into a massive anti-white movement in our country where I believe more than anything else, we should care about character, not skin color. Do you agree with that? It's not, I don't, I don't believe that you understand what I'm saying. It's not that I don't agree with not, um, I'm sorry. Oh, it's not that I know, don't agree with, um, you know, what you just said, but you have to realize that it's you, black people are like white people are not being hunt, haunted, hunted after. Y'all can come here and live a great freaking life. Alabama is a safe haven. The PhD Wait, fraternities and sororities are a safe haven you, you for white people. You think you're being hunted? I, let me tell okay, y'all can laugh, but until you have walked as a black person on this campus, y'all y'all truly y'all truly don't understand. And I under, and I have I've gone to school with white people my whole life. I've I've so, gone so but I, it's just I, I, I will end with this. Um, you're not being hunted at the University of Alabama and there is no boogeyman that's trying to get you. It's not you're making you're making you live you're making a, it seem you live in the least racist country in the history of the world. You're in Ala that you're in has, Alabama. You are literally yes. in the the that, place where it's, it's not okay. You yes, you just, mean, you mean you the place that has given you more talking time than any other person here and where they wait, sit you respectfully. You think you're supposed to shut me down and be like, go sit down? I mean, of yes, course I'm going to talk to you. That would have happened a hundred years ago. You're right. A hundred oh. years ago, you might not have been allowed to come into this room, so which would have been, to you because which would have been evil. No, instead, we are here, we're creating a movement to say we never want to go back to the segregation that once existed in this country that is now being pushed by people in corporate America, in academia, and other places. We want to strive for a country that cares about character and the soul and the spirit of the individual, not on tribes, not on the melanin content in people's skin, and I will say this as compassionately as I can, is that you are not being hunted as a black person in America. Yeah. There's not a single statistic that affirms that. There's not a single data point. Instead, the opposite is true. We are the least racist, most accepting, multiracial country in the history of the planet. And I pray one day you'll be thankful to live in that country. Okay. Thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. Um, everybody. CJ, CJ, come here. Really quick. I have a question. Come here. Go right there. Right there. So CJ, just really quick. You're a black person. Are you hunted at the university? You know, I don't, I don't feel hunted at this university, but I guess the difference between me and some people here is that I don't choose to be a victim, Charlie, which I think, which I think 
is the biggest problem we have here today are people who wake up every single day looking for a reason to be oppressed, looking for a reason to cry and make an excuse about why they're not in a position to go win. I don't see the color of my skin as a disability. I see it as simply an accessory that I couldn't control. I've been black all my life. I've been black today, and I'm thriving here. I think that's a, that's a roll tide right there, right? I don't know. And so, CJ, let me ask you, CRT, yeah. racist? It's not just racist, it's the exact iteration of white supremacy just in reverse. I think it's important that we start teaching young people not to hate other people because of the color of their skin. We can teach black people to be proud of who they are without telling white people they should be ashamed of who they are. You know? Amen. So, closing thought, CJ. Is this trying to divide the country? It's, it's not only trying to divide the country, it's trying to break apart the foundation upon which it was built. You know, people forget the words of MLK, Rosa Parks, all those people who fought so hard for us to be a united country where we didn't see the color of one's skin, but, the, but their character. Amen. CJ, you're a great America. Give it up Thank for CJ, so everybody. So good. Guys, this is amazing. Like, I honestly believe that we should not judge people based on the color of the skin, but based by their character. And... I say if a black person acts like a jerk, treat him as a jerk. If a white person acts like a jerk, treat him as a jerk. But like, I honestly get where she's coming from. I, I'll be honest. If any country full of white people, they're going to be racist. And let's go back to the Ukraine war. I'm, I, I'm shifting from America. But let's go to the Ukraine war. There are some Nigerians who were there and they were treated as shit when the war started. Like, they were treated as shit. Like, no one wanted to give a fuck. They were begging for people to carry them with their car and they were like, get out here no white like it's it was on video and bro it was disgusting but like i honestly believe that america is the place where i honestly believe you can see white people fighting for black people like i i, I don't believe america is racist to be honest but i will not say that like they are racist people but i don't believe america is racist this is you cannot get a country that's perfect that's that's just the truth and I honestly feel that people should stop focusing on the negative part of it and like focus on the positive part. Like you cannot say because people will steal from me if I go outside, so I should not go outside. Like there's a hundred percent chance that you can go outside for like the rest of your life and you will never be robbed. And like I honestly feel that we should live life the way we see it, not based on what people say. Like everybody case is different. And I honestly feel that the racism in America, but like it's let's say two out of a hundred. Like, bro, it's, it still doesn't count, but like, we wouldn't deny the fact that it's there. But guys, I always come up with the essential to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys, first.